welcome back to my channel here we're working on the uh, end elevation of the uh, of this mechanical drain so we are looking at the object in this direction or the assembling in this direction so we want to produce the end elevation so and uh, this is giving the first angle projection it means we are placing the end elevation here beside the front elevation so what we need to do now is to uh, draw a horizontal line from this point so um, so we draw a horizontal line from here and I will come here also I will draw a horizontal line I will be taking it one by one so that we can uh, understand it so and then I will come up here and draw a horizontal line from here so I draw a horizontal line from here and then so I will also draw a horizontal line from this point here so then I will draw a horizontal line from here So the next thing I'm going to do here, next thing I'm going to do here is to, with my 45 degrees S square, I will draw an inclined line. So draw an inclined line. So like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, draw a vertical line. So uh, first of all, so this center line, I need to draw it. So, okay, so here I will draw a vertical center line here. Okay, so and then here I will draw this line. So from here up. So to stop here, okay, and also I will draw a vertical line from here. All right, so we have this in place. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I want to work on this part first. I want to work here first. So I will also draw a horizontal line from here to here. And also from here to here. So here I will draw a vertical line. Okay. So also draw a vertical line from here. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do here. So let me so we are going to see this edge here so this point here we are going to see this edge here so uh, i mean this point here we are going to see this so i'm going to make this a thick line so we see this as a complete thick line okay so and also this point here we are going to see it so i'll make it a complete line so from here to here okay so and then so this part is going to be hidden from us. So to be hidden from us. So the distance is from here. So make it short dashes line. So from here to here. Okay, so the next thing that we have here. So this hole that we have here is to be hidden from us and to be at the center as we have it here in the plan. So the diameter of that is 10 so i will take five millimeters to the left side five to the right side so and then so um we draw it from here up okay all right so that is for the hole that we have there so the next thing that i'm going to do is to put this part and this part and then so the shaft will also come out so it will come out of it so um i'm going to draw a horizontal line from here to here and i will also draw this from here to here like this so here i will draw so I need to make this line. So this part, I have to draw this line. So it has to go up a bit. Then I'm going to draw from here. 
so from year up by this and also so from this point so i'll draw a vertical line up and also i will draw a vertical line up here okay so then i'll come here i will draw a horizontal line like this and also so this part will be hidden from all so we have to draw it we have to draw it here so we have to draw it so i will draw a horizontal line here okay so it will be hidden from us so we have to show it hidden in the end elevation so we draw a short dashes line okay so and then so we make this a thick line so this will be a complete thick line from here down from here down and this will be a thick line so from here to here okay okay so this will also be all right this will come down so this this part will be hidden so it will be hidden from us and also so this will be a thick line down here that this part will be hidden here okay and this will be a complete thick line from here down like this and then so we make this a thick line all right so now so the next thing i'm going to do is to extend this center line so because we are going to see the boat so i will extend this center line okay and also so this are uh, bushing so it will be hidden it will be hidden so we can't see it in the end elevation so we need to make sure we put it there that we can't see it it is hidden so what i need to do now for the bushing is to make a short dashes line around here okay so i will also draw it here okay so that's for the bushing so also so from here for the uh, boat so i will need to draw a horizontal line so from here so draw a horizontal line like this and i will also draw a horizontal line from here like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to put the uh the hexagonal head of the boat here and hexagonal head of the knot here with the washer around here so let's do that so what we need to do now so I want to focus on this part so that we can all see it. So what we need to do now is to, um, so I will take my compass. So let me bring it this part. So what we just need to do, because when we're looking at it in this direction, so all I need to do is to take the distance from here to here. So take the distance from here to here. Okay, with my compass, I believe you can see it. Then I will, okay, before that, I will need to draw uh, a vertical center line around here vertical center line around here so I draw a vertical center line around here like this so then I will put it at the center that measurement that I've taken I put at this center here and I will draw make an arc here I will also make an arc here like this okay so I can see it there so what I need to do now is to draw so is to draw a horizontal line from here to this point. I will also draw it from here to this point here. 
okay so i will also do the same thing on this side here so for the knot so i'll also do it here so next thing i'm going to do is to take a measurement of 12 millimeters as we did in the uh, plan so 12 millimeters here this is 12 so i will come here so i will come here and I will first of all take two millimeters for the washer. Then I will take 12 millimeters for the knot. So this is 12 millimeters. So I'll be doing this simultaneously so that you can complete it together at once. So um, this is for the sagona edge. And this is for the knot. And then this is for the washer. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is that I will take a measurement of 2 millimeters, uh, sorry, 1.5 millimeters down as we did for the hexagonal edge in the plan. We will also do the same thing here, so 1.5. So here I will draw. So draw a vertical line from here to here. And I will also draw a vertical line from here to here okay so with my french cuff so i will bring out the cuff part of the hexagonal edge so All right, so then I will do the same thing on this side here. All right, so um, I believe you can see it. Okay, so now uh, there is no way i'm supposed to put this chain for this part this is not this is not where i'm supposed to put it so um all right i will clean it and you have seen the way i did it all right so i've corrected it so this is where it's supposed to be so we make this a thick line from year to year so this will be a thick line from year to year and this will also be a thick line from year to year so with my <coughs> so i need to do the same thing here so this is how the knot we look in the uh, end elevation so with my the 30 degree side of my cell square <coughs> All right, so make this a thick line from here to here, and we also make this a thick line. All right, so we are getting to the end of the work. So, and then for the washer, so for the washer, so it is is twelve point five. That is twelve and a half. So we need to make this a thick line. Here yeah, as a thick line. So this is what we have in the end elevation. I think in the plan also I need to make a correction in that plan. So no, um, I think I made a mistake in the measurement that I took. So let me go back there. So it means that we are supposed to have it to be completed here. So for the washer. So, so you can see it, I've corrected it. So now, then the, 
the part of the boat that will be hidden so seven and a half so from the center so we take 7.5 so 7.5 so this is 7.5 here and this is 7.5 from the center so we Okay, so we've already taken it, so all I need to do is to make it uh, with short dashes line. So there is it, okay? Um, all right, so with short dashes line, so we make the part of the boat that will be hidden. Okay, so here also we do the same thing. Okay. So and then we have so we take a measurement of so one millimeter or one point five. So from here we also take one point five. So then we take fifteen millimeters from here for the thread. So I'm doing this for the thread. So this is it. So we have it, we also have it in the plan, which I did. Okay, I didn't remember to, okay. So this will be hidden. Okay, so then. So this will also be hidden. All right, so this is the end elevation. So this is the end elevation. So you write the end elevation down here. So let's see the three uh, parts to, or the three work together. So these are the three uh, drawings. So we have the front elevation, the plan. So the plan and also the end elevation. It's as simple as I've shown it here. All you need to do is to practice. Thank you for watching and thank you for uh, listening. So keep on practicing and God bless you.